Okay guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to learn how to load the ATG um, tape glider from Scotch. I know a lot of people have difficulties when it comes to doing this and I have learned um, recently that there is one step that I was missing and I wanted to show you guys what to do and what not to do. Okay, so let's get into it. <music> So the first thing that you're going to need is your tape. You can either use the one that comes with this box um, with the scotch. This is um, brand new. So this is the one that came with it. Or you can use the refills that I am going to have listed down below, which are absolutely amazing. They are off brand, but they are actually really, really good. And those are the ones that I usually buy. And when buying a refill, just make sure that you are buying the correct size and that you are buying uh, one fourth um, size because they do have different sizes. So this one comes with the permanent one. They do also have some of them that are not permanent. They are, um, I think, removable and things like that. So depending on which one that you want, you'll buy the one that you you know would use. Okay, now so you're gonna open up your um, tape gun. And just remove this. This comes on this side, so you're going to remove it and put it to the side because we're going to use that later. And now here we have your tape. Just make sure that you don't move, remove this here. And just push it down and make sure that it goes all the way down because right now it's looking like it does not want to go all the way down. Okay. Okay. Here it goes. So you'll know when it goes all the way down, you'll see this part right here, right? Okay. Okay. So now that I have it incorrectly, I want to show you how you should not have it. Okay. So I'm going to take the tape out and I'm going to put it this way, right? I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to make sure it goes down. So this is the incorrect way with the tape coming this way and then doing this, doing, doing this, I should say, this is incorrect. You cannot have the tape going in this way. Now I'm going to take it back out and show you guys the correct way. You always want to make sure. You always want to make sure that your tape is coming from this side here. And then you're going to go over and then under. Once you do that, you're going to hit on this so pretty much they give you enough um, so that you can roll it so you're not wasting tape and it's gonna be sticky on here as well so the more I'm doing this now once you get to this part because remember this is sticky you know I'm gonna do it a little bit more now you want to go over these notches here. There's one here and then one here. And simply hold on to this. If you have a, a older glue gun, you might have some adhesive here. So this is gonna be easier to, you know, to kind of stay. So I'm just gonna hold on to it. And then I'm gonna continue switch, um, pressing this just so I can give it some So I can roll some of it, okay? So you're gonna keep rolling it. Oops. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, here it goes. Right? Remember, you gotta go, the tape gotta start from under here, over, and then this way. Now at this time, you can, if you choose, you can continue rolling it to make sure that you have enough so it's secured because you see it's tight. This is tight. Now, what I'm going to do is also go ahead and put this back in. And once you put this back in, you're not going to turn it this way. You're going to turn it this way, the opposite of open. And that's it, guys. I have officially loaded this tape 
with no issues at all. And again, the key to it is positioning your tape where it looks just like this to go over and under and then over. And that is it. Okay, so now let's close it and I'll show you that it is working. Right? That's it. The first one is going to be a little sticky, but there you go. It is working, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have issues loading this tape gun. Again, I was not paying attention before of how I was loading the the tape. That's the reason why I was having issues. The moment that I started to pay attention how I loaded it, that's when I realized that is really easy. You just have to pay attention to how you are loading it. Okay. So guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a video. Bye.